this is our monarch enclosure that had 10 fifth instar monarch caterpillars in it. I am warning you now, this is not going to be a pleasant video. Um, if you are squeamish or you don't like the sight of um, dead caterpillars, stop watching right now. Not everything about raising caterpillars is fun and games. Um, and tonight is a difficult night for me because three of our 10 caterpillars had a failure to pupate. This is when the caterpillar starts pupating, starts forming a chrysalis, and then for some reason stops and can't finish. Um, when you have more than one in the same day, or even in a group like this, it most often times means that they had pesticide poisoning. Now, I've only been picking milkweed from my yard that I've grown. I have not used any pesticides on my property. I've spoken to my two direct next door neighbors. They also have not used any pesticides on their property. However, a neighbor on the back side of my property, far away from where my milkweed is, um, did spray for mosquitoes at some point this year. Um, they had a sign out for like mosquito squad or something like that. Um, I do not know those neighbors. They just bought the house like in December, I think. I knew the previous owners. I do not know these new owners. Um, it's possible that somebody a couple houses up could have sprayed and it drifted over. It's possible that these neighbors could have sprayed again and it drifted over. Uh, regardless, it appears that um, my caterpillars got um, poisoned by pesticides. Anytime you spray for mosquitoes, it kills all insects. It doesn't just kill mosquitoes. Um, and it doesn't happen right away. This is one of those times. So I do have a glove on. I have to remove these caterpillars. So I take them up by the top where they're hanging, try not to squish them because they could kind of explode. I do have paper towels on the bottom of the enclosure just in case. So that was one. This is two. This is three. So, um, we still have one that hasn't um, pupated yet. It's a little bit behind the others. So, we'll have to wait and see if this guy is able to pupate successfully. Um, it appears that everybody else uh, was able to successfully pupate. Some of them still have the skin stuck on. Uh, this one may come out deformed because it's uh, part of its skin tore up through the chrysalis as it was forming. 
The one back there looks okay. I think all the others look okay too. But this is a very sad day for me because I've raised these guys since they were eggs. Um, feeding them every single day. So it's difficult uh, when you lose any caterpillar or butterfly or chrysalis. Um, but when you have three at the same time, um, it's really, really difficult. So please don't spray for mosquitoes. Don't use pesticides, insecticides, anything like that on your property. Um, and if you ever can, you know, try to buy organic foods from the grocery store. Organic foods do also most oftentimes have organic pesticides. Um, but organic still tends to be safer than non-organic. Organic foods like um, parsley, dill, carrot tops, fennel, those are really never safe to feed to caterpillars like um, black swallowtails. You don't here, I can flip the video so you can see me. So, organic. All right, so you don't ever want to feed store-bought food to your caterpillars. So, for my black swallowtails, I feed them dill and I feed them fennel, sometimes carrot top, sometimes Queen Anne lace. But if you're ever running out, do not ever go to the grocery store and get um, parsley, dill, fennel, carrot that's meant for feeding humans because it's most likely treated with pesticides. So pesticides can be really difficult to deal with when you raise butterflies because you have to become very aware of pesticides and their applications and their uses. So that's it for this enclosure, um, I'm going to get started on the other monarch enclosures after I put these guys in the freezer to ensure that they are dead um, in the most humane way possible. And definitely wash my hands multiple times, even though I'm wearing a glove, but just to be safe. 